Undefeated WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder will face undefeated top contender Luis Ortiz. That'll be Saturday, November 4th. It is at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. It'll be presented by Premier Boxing Champions and it'll be broadcast live on Showtime. Yeah, like I said, the game plan is just, you know, to uh, control the fight with my jab, uh, with my uh, angles, movement. You know, and um, it, it, if I do that, if I if I do that, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be an easy fight. You know, I'm gonna bring out another part that uh, that people ain't seen in Deontay Wilder. You know, I take Lewis or T very seriously, so I'm gonna fight in that manner, in order, very seriously. And um, you're training uh, uh, very hard for this fight, I presume, like we always do for your fights, right? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. We had to um, we had to get out of camp to come here. My body is sore right now, so. Um, you know, the first day of camp, we, we ride on it. We don't we don't miss a beat. We come in camp in shape, ready to go. And if we're not in shape, then uh, too bad for us. You know, but uh, I can't wait for this fight. You know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people didn't think this was gonna happen. You know, and um, and it did. You know, I'm very serious about what I'm trying to do. And um, and whoever get in my way of of doing that, they will go down. I was speaking to Mark Brillen, who uh, also is in your corner and does a lot of work with you. He says, uh, I'm working on the uh, great jab, which of course he had as a mm. fire itself, and the right cross also. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, most definitely. You know, it's, it's many ways you can throw the jab. And uh, Mark, Bill Mark Breland is an uh, expert of, on the jab and stuff like that. You know, he was part of uh, the reason why I was, uh, my jab was so spectacular in this Stavern fight. You know, so many different movements and stuff like that. And uh, we're just going to go back to the roots of that. And just uh, perfect a lot of things, and come out November the 4th and have a great, a great show. Usually I'm depressed. Get like more excited, more happy. Today you seem like real frustrated. Can you tell me why? You know, man, it's just you know. I'm just I'm, I'm in camp. I'm in I'm in focus zone. You know, this 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 fight right here means everything to me. I, I'm I'm mad that he ain't even here. You know, um, which I understand that uh, things happen. And stuff like that, but um, I'm just I'm so serious. I can't I can't I'm so serious. Like it's, I, I'm so serious to the point that I'm getting speeches and I never get to this point. Like this is the time that I want my due credit. I just want my credit. I'm sick and tired of it. You know what I mean? Uh, all over the parts of the world, you know, they support their fighters. In America, we do not support our fighters, especially if he's black. Let's face it. I'm here to tell the truth. And it, 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 why not? Why? Why? When some of these they, these formulas doing the same thing we doing, they ain't, if, if we ain't fighting nobody, they damn sure ain't fighting nobody. And that's just part I'm fed up with. So Lewis Ortiz, when the time comes, and when I knock him out, I want my due respect, not only just here in America but around the world, because I am the best in the world. I'm prove I'm gonna prove that. I'm gonna talk my talk because I'm gonna walk that walk. Trust me. So you'll be ready for AJ right after that? I mean, you think that this fighter, if, if you, as you say, self say, Bro, I'm you gonna, knock him out, you're gonna get a fight with AJ immediately? I'm gonna or? put it like this. I'm gonna put it like this, like the, like, like the, uh, what, what is that belt? That, which one? The, uh, the a, WBA. That's the one they always make people fight. Which one? Tyson Fury had. They made him fight in 30 days. The uh, WBA. IBF. 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 Was that the IBF? IBF. Yes. I'm like that. Let me turn around in 30 days and whip his ass and take those. Belts. <laughs> I'll be. You know what I mean? It don't take me long. I don't need number six months for anybody. But if I have to turn around, let me turn around. I'm gonna show you who the best. You ain't never seen no fighter fight with broken hands, torn bicep, come with third degree burns and still fight. A lot of these guys won't fight with a broken hand, but me, you gonna have to kill me. And that's just the point about it. That's just how I was raised, man. Like I said, I was raised to look you in your eye and tell you what I'm going to do and be real about it and shake your hand and sign, seal, deliver. And that's just what type of fighter I am, that's what type of mentality I have. In this boxing ring, it ain't no friends until it's over. You know, I don't mean well for nobody when I get in the ring. I'm the bronze bummer, and I'm going to approach it accordingly. If people think I'm playing, if Ortiz think this is a game and he think this, this is going to be easy or talking about running and all that and shit, because keep in mind, that's the reason why they have inches that's on the ring. It ain't for to be rock 'em sock 'em. That's a foolish man game. It's for the move around. So if you ain't got no condition to keep up, then you out of luck, my brother. How is your uh, shoulder and arms? Are you in good health? Everything Are you is recovered now? Everything is great. You know, um, I haven't 
to be honest, since I've had, since I've gotten the belt, I hasn't I haven't been 100 percent since I've gotten the belt. But this layoff that I've had, just trying to you know reconstruct the whole team, reconstruct this whole game of boxing, just you know finally want to get the fans what they want to see. If they if they want satisfied with the others. I know they got it, you know. I'm like, all right, let me do it, you know. A lot of people thought it was foolish. Uh, uh, go for the, the whites and go get four men. Fuck that, man. It ain't about that. Or uh, goes to Stavern. Why Stavern? I want the, I want who, who's everybody ducking. Even Joshua ducked him. I want the guy who they ducked. He's a treacherous southpaw. Uh, how does that change your game at all? It don't change it at all because my most devastating knockout was against a southpaw. So I almost killed the man and he was a southpaw. So... I like I love southpaws. I love pressure fighters and I love southpaws. So it's it's gonna be a great fight. I, I, I can't wait. <laughs> Real quick, Deontay, uh, on IG man, you and Fifty Cent, you know you could get y'all was doing the selfies. You was talking mm. about AJ. Then AJ came back. He said he's gonna beat Wilder's ass. He told Fifty that on like well, Facetime or something. Well, to clear that up, I don't even think that was Joshua. That said. I think that was Fifty doing the impersonation yeah. of Anthony Joshua. If you go back and look at it, you know uh, uh, Fifty I would do impersonation. I, I can't see Joshua coming out saying nothing now. All this time, Joshua. Just, that's just not Joshua character to come out and, and, and talk talk shit about nobody. He's a nice guy. And so that's fifty cent getting involved in this. Well, it's what great it's great it's, it's great media. It's yeah, great marketing. Yeah, marketing. yeah, great publicity. I loved it. You know what I mean? I love it. It's great publicity because a lot of people think Joshua said that. I don't I don't just from hearing fifty voice, being around him and, and hearing his voice and stuff and how he laughed, it all blend. I don't think that was Joshua. Joshua ain't gonna talk no shit to nobody. I'm the shit talker now. I'm going to talk the talk so I can walk my walk, like I said. Good luck, John. Thank you so much. Always good to see you. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, bomb squad real quick? Yeah, most definitely. BOMB SQUAD! What you scared of, man? What you scared of? I almost fell off the stage. Quick question. So, okay, foreshadowing, you beat the crap out of Ortiz, right? Say that one again, baby. Foreshadowing, you beat the crap out of Ortiz. Foreshadowing? Yeah, that you beat the crap out of him, right? Then what happens? Say when I beat him. When you, there you beat go. him, what's next? What can we expect from you? Who's your next? I mean, what are you looking to do after that? When I, when I, sure they made, you know, that you can pick now. When I beat him, I want Joshua. I mean, everybody know what the deal is. I want, I want, I want to unify the division, and uh, whoever I gotta beat to, to 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 finally get that fight made, then let's let's do it. If Ortiz, the, the gatekeeper for the unifying, then I, I can't wait. You know, but my ultimate goal is to unify. Unify. I'm waiting on them. As you can see, I'm waiting on them. I've been ready. I've been calling all these champions out. I done called these champions out from, 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 uh, you see, from Pavakin, from Glasgow, hurting this, you know, dodging me going to, to, to uh, Charles Martin. I done called out Klitschko. I done called out the Furies. You know, Klitschko told me I need to fight somebody else. But I got the WBC belt. Why you didn't want to come and take this? You had all the titles, and I had the, I had the WBC belt. Why I got to fight somebody else? If I'm that easy, why people feel like they need to dodge me if I'm so easy? I, I don't understand it. If I'm fighting all bombs and I ain't fought nobody, ain't it, why these motherfuckers don't want to fight me? That's a, that, that, that should be something that somebody should contemplate in their mind. Why they ain't fighting if it's that easy? So with that being said, I want to unify. So after this fight, when Joshua do what he got to do with Palou, and I'm going to do what I got to do with Ortiz, I ain't got to say no more. So you obviously feel like the total, thanks everybody, because you have this title after the number one team American has had it, obviously, right? Correct. Okay, so what kind of responsibility, like, do you ever feel like, okay, what if yeah, I let so my country yeah, down? Way, yeah. I don't ever think that, babe. You think it's negative. You know what I'm saying? I don't never think negative. I surround myself by positive people. I think positive. I see positive. I already claim it. I already this has already been claimed. It just it's just patient and time. I post something about the two strongest words. It's patience and time. And I have those. I'm anointed. My grandma been told me I was anointed by God. You know, she wouldn't even let my parents with me. And and I'm ready for this moment. If it's a test, then I'm ready to pass it. You know? So I, I can't wait. I can't wait because we can do all the talk. I can say what I want to say. Ortiz can say what he want to say. But come down to the fourth, that's when it's all the truth come out. I think he's scared of me, though, to be honest. He can talk all that one. What, I think he's scared of me, just like all the other ones are. Because it ain't nothing more scary than going in somebody that can knock your ass out cold. And you might not wake it back up. That's, how, that's what I bring to the division. And I don't care what they say. As a fighter, as a fighter, 
and you know you coming in with somebody that can punch like me? Oh, come on. It's a timid day. You, you're going to have it in the back of your mind. You're going to have that fear in the back of your mind because you can be the same way just like my other 38 victims that came before you, before him. You think that's why Stervine uh, didn't take the drug test? Who? Stervine. Uh, Stervine? Sir. He fl uh, well, you know, I can't speak on that situation. I don't know what happened. He He's, sort of forfeited it. Yeah, he says one thing, somebody, they say it's another. So, I, you know, I can't speak up on that. But, man, you know, only thing I can do is give out advice. And my advice to all all these fighters, please stop. Just stop. Stop cheating. Work your work your way up. You know, you don't need no nothing to, to enhance you to do nothing. Why? This is a dangerous sport. Why put that in your body? You know what I mean? Because you're going to get caught. Especially when you fight me, you're going to get caught. Because we strict on it. That's why I said, Louis Ortiz, don't fuck this up. <laughs> All right. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from downtown here in New York City on the Wilder versus Ortiz fight. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.